In this video, I'm going to show you how to find Gimmigul chest locations so that you can get 999 coins to evolve your Gimmigul into a Goldengo. Now, apart from being needed for the Pokédex, Goldengo is actually really incredible. It is one of my two favorite Pokémon to use in Terra Raid battles because of how strong it is. So I'm going to show you some locations across the map where you can find things like these. These towers specifically generally always have a Gimmigul chest right at the top. When you encounter them and you go see the Gimmigul, you run up to the chest, you engage it in battle, and here you can either catch it or defeat it, it's up to you. And after the battle, you'll see you'll get Gimmigul coins, and it can be a random amount from like 20 to, if you're very lucky, 200, but that's like extremely rare. But the great thing to know is that these chests will always respawn. I'm not sure how long it takes, maybe like 2-3 days of in-game time days, but it they do respawn and you can come back and, and do them again. So you don't have to only get Gimme Ghoul once. Getting 999 coins can be done multiple times. All right, so here is a map with locations of all of these towers and different specific places where you can find these chests here. These ones are generally towers, as you can see at the bottom left of the map here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see this one over here. So these basically are just locations you can go to and find chests that can have between 20 and like usually 20 to 50 coins each. So I recommend doing a full lap of this, the entire map, go to each one of these locations, collect and defeat the, the Gimmigul chest, and trust me, by the end, you should already have 999. The first time I did this, I had well over 999 without even knowing it. I had already reached the limit, and that's how I got my Gimme Ghoul. And you can see there are a ton of locations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you every single one here so that you can pause along the spot here as you playing the game to find each specific one. You should know that some of these locations you will need to be able to do the really high jump with your legendary Pokemon. And some of these chests are not only in towers, they can also be found in the runes, the rune sites, as you can see here, like the one in the desert there and the one on the grass. And there's one up here too, just to show you that one. And then we're gonna loop down here past Asado Desert here, and these are pretty much all of them. That is like the, the last of them. There is a sneaky little one here, a nice little island that you can visit. And that is the last one to show you on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck finding them and thank you so much for watching.